Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I know there hasn't been much uploads up until this point. We have had some now and then, but from now on, we're going to start uploading videos every week. What I want you to do is like, subscribe and comment what type of content you want to see on this channel. This is the challenge, haven't you seen that? And see if the bar can roll over the ass. <laughs> What did I call this challenge? The butt test? Part of the butt challenge, TikTok narcissism. Why are people so narcissistic that they think people want to use bar pills that have just touched their butts and intentionally, intentionally touch their butts? I can understand if they were doing an exercise in which it touched their butts, but why are people so narcissistic that they see this online and they go to Listen the to this think, guy. Wow, I should actually try out this challenge in which I should push a barbell over my friend or a partner and see if it goes over their butts to see if their butt is a specific size and if their butt is that uh, not even close to touching the floor with their specific size then they are worthy of being same air. Line by other narcissists yeah this is why i do not prefer watching tape talk now, I do want to say that TikTok is a great tool if you're using it to spread knowledge, spread activism, use it for animal rights activism, or promote other human rights activities. But people abuse these types of platforms doing things like this. And this is why I like to speak up against um, TikTok narcissism, and uh, specifically because, as we know, narcissism is huge on the internet and the internet is a safe place <laughs> in particular but it is just skyrocketed and not only has it skyrocketed in general but tiktok is responsible for the skyrocketing of narcissism as it's contributed to a lot oh see if it can touch she could do a what, what is it called that yoga position where you have your hands on the floor and you're back into the standing oh, what, what is that again lot of narcissism in teenagers and especially with yes downwards dog yeah the bar won't roll over if you're standing standing in the downwards dog position like she did she almost standing like this types of challenges with that being said who would be interesting in signing a petition i make in which makes it a listen it isn't even close okay illegal for people to go into gyms and do this type of BS. You go with What is he saying? Listen to the guy talking. Who would be interesting in signing a petition I make in which makes it illegal for people to go into gyms and do this type of BS? You go into Okay, how the fuck has he planned on making it illegal? If you sign a petition, every gym in the world will make this illegal. This is male Karen, that is true. Jesus Christ, this is a a gym you go into a gym to put work in you don't go into a gym to be a narcissist and i'm not you're not going to a gym to be a narcissist taking pictures of yourself tracking progress you know that's great don't go into a gym doing this type of bs same I mean, air put your hips down to the ground first seriously you're a joke if you do this you don't even deserve a gym membership you're just abusing it like so many people would just love to have access to this so much uh, equipment so much gym equipment and this is what you do with it you're a complete joke and you shouldn't go to a gym for the rest of your life who is this angry guy who's this angry guy that's illegal i'm going to send this video to that guy so he can be angry Vegan, that vegan teacher versus sniper wolf. When I watched them just now, it really struck me how cruel she is to talk about the animals in such a way as if they are just objects meant to be used and that she actually truly thinks that. Ah, uh, okay, because I eat meat means I don't care about animals. Clearly, I care about my dogs. The short rib taco that was once a cow I ate prior to filming this video. You're right, that was a good taco. I think the world would be better without somebody like Leah. SS sniper wolf, if you're watching this, if you don't wake up tomorrow they won't bother me at all and in fact honestly i would be kind of happy you know when i was eating my eggs this morning i didn't even think about the chicken that i stole the eggs from i ate my breakfast and went on with my day it's kind of like if you didn't wake up tomorrow i also wouldn't care i would just move on with my day when something's useless you throw it away when i watched them just now it really <laughs> vegan drama stole eggs from chicken yeah 
Sniper Wolf is actually crazy. What is this dude? SS Sniper Wolf is a narcissistic piece of crap. And in fact, she's so narcissistic that I bet she stands in front of a mirror and literally masturbates while looking at herself. Yes, I think so too. Only someone who reaches a maximum level of narcissism could complete such a task. And on another note, that vegan teacher literally fucking destroyed and exposed the fuck out of this. Team. Oh yes, that vegan teacher really got her. Yeah, I wouldn't care if you didn't wake up tomorrow because you're so bad to animals. And even got her to admit that she's a selfish piece of shit who doesn't care about anything going empathy. on in the world. Besides her own narcissism I've and making money video. by putting out lame content to her seven-year-old simping little boy subscribers. And my daughter is watching uh, uh, Sniper Wolf. She's not a seven-year-old boy. She's a ten-year-old girl. Celebrities are not helping animal rights. This is actually my new favorite YouTube channel, I think. This is uh, the most funny guy I've heard in a while. So there seems to be a lot of people who think that celebrities are somehow good for promoting animal rights slash veganism. And in today's video, I wanted to kind of break down why I think that's completely false and even if you're a very popular celebrity who promotes veganism, that it won't make a difference in any sort of way compared to it. That's I'm true. I'm sick of you fucking pet pet puss. You'll skip. <coughs> yeah, it's correct. It won't help because they can promote whatever the fuck they want. I will eat my meat. If any regular activist is doing any sort of event, and here's why. I promise it's going to make sense. So one of my main points being that people well, I hope it makes sense now. People follow celebrities because that celebrity provides something for them that they find pleasurable. And let's say Kim K, for example, or Miley Cyrus, people find her music pleasurable. They find her performances pleasurable. Or Kim K, they find her products that she puts out pleasurable or the pictures of her fake body parts online pleasurable. And they fetishize mm -hmm. that, so that's why she has so many followers. True. Or Billie Eilish, obviously her music they find pleasurable, but True. if that were to stop, they would cancel those celebrities within a, within a heartbeat. Um, they don't follow these celebrities because they find any of their personal interests uh, beneficial to themselves. Which is Some do. He is a bit wrong. Some do, because he is a bit wrong, because people are following them pretty why if they start promoting animal rights they wouldn't care about it at all they would actually really just go against that celebrity and start boycotting them and trying to cancel them and making fun nah so the first video i'm going to be showing you is a video from two days ago from the time that this video is being posted and it's one of her modeling videos that she did with a friend and that video is angels of lingerie love honey it has 50k views and it has three point 3k likes and it has only 42 dislikes so that's a pretty impressive ratio and people really seem to have liked this video right so i'm gonna go to a video from a little while back in which she stormed a um, company that abuses animals a company that promotes animal abuse and that sells their dead body parts to the consumers the title of this video is radical vegan stormed grill and it's the protest that she did with Vegan Booty, Tass Peterson, who was another amazing activist throughout the movement, if you don't know who she is yet. What is this guy talking about? What's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with this guy? How do you become like that? Do you know what? He can eat as much grass as he wants himself. Just fuck off when it comes to my food, okay? Just stay the fuck away from my diet. And do Eat whatever you want yourself. I don't care. The more... Like, this guy is doing bad promotion for veganism as well. Do you know why? Because every time I see someone like him, I will go downstairs and make an extra steak that day. Every time I will promote eating meat for bodybuilding even more. Because they're so crazy the other way. I'll tell him. Hi. You are even worse for vegan yours yourself you are way too extreme and it <laughs> makes me eat and promote 
Eating. Eating. More. Every time I see you, I make beef. Beef. And I tell all my followers to do the same. We all eat about two LBS of meat a day now. <laughs> it will probably be four a day in a year. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do you and your points. Uh, does he have any better videos? Barbell butt challenge. Why, why is he so bad at this? Anti-vegan racists. So in addition to my last video exposing you did it wrong, I've gotten a lot of carnist nonsense responses since then. None of which I really care about because it's all nonsense, but this is something that I wanted to make really clear. And I also want to thank Emily from Slightly Crazy. It's cool to make fun of my hair. Donna Blair, who runs the YouTube channel Hot for Health, thought it was cool to make fun of my hair type as a black person. And as you. Hello, Beedon. Here is a link to my favorite YouTuber, Streetman, and his 300 egg video. Oh, we should have put it up. Could imagine. By the way, this is my favorite YouTube this video. And this is just how my hair type is. Sometimes it'll be super stiff and it'll just simply stick in the air. Donna Blair, who runs the YouTube channel Hop for Health, thought it was cool to make fun of my hair type as a black person. And as you could imagine, she happens to be white. And this is just how my hair type is. Sometimes it'll be super stiff and it'll just simply stick in the air. Sometimes it wants to act right and it'll- Listen, I don't fucking care about your hair, okay? Get to the vegan points, that's what I don't like. And the reason she's throwing these racist and insulted people is because I exposed her best friend or online buddy sky from you did it wrong and as you can imagine when carnists respond to you it's usually nonsense and per this guy talking about people responding with nonsense Personal text, but nothing that holds any truth or real merit to it now going back to a video that comes from the guy who wanted to make up people to sign petitions for making it illegal to do the barbell challenge on the day <laughs> what's wrong with this guy Vegan phobic lies exposed. Can you be vegan phobic as well now? Oh, vegan phobic. <laughs> this world. Oh my fucking god. <laughs>